everyone. Welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I'm your Monday hostess, Natalie. We are in Season 12, Week 16, and this week we are talking about mediumship. Now, I will admit that I do not consider myself a medium. I do sometimes see spirits. I do communicate with spirits. For me, it tends to be more a sensation than it is a direct contact, although I have had direct contact with some spirits. More it happened when I was younger and I learned to kind of shut it out. And so it doesn't happen as frequently for me as it does, um, although it's starting to come back more now. But for a long time, I, I just cut it out. I just blocked it out. I learned how to tune it out and not let it happen, although I would still sense them. Uh, but I, I'm not one who goes out and says I am a medium and I put myself out there to be a conduit for communication. Essentially, that's what mediumship is, is when you are able to see and hear and communicate with back and forth spirits that are uh, passed on or are were never human. Now, I do know that Jen is a medium, so I'm sure you'll get a lot more out of her video tomorrow. But mediumship, I think, is a, is a gift. I think all of us have that ability. I do believe every single human being on the planet has psychic ability, whether it's, you know, different types of the clairs, perhaps, or mediumship. I don't think everyone is a medium. I think everyone can learn to be a medium and can learn to open themselves to that communication. And there are classes that are offered for that. I know Jen, I think, does some. I know Miracles of Joy, they have them there. And you can learn to open yourself as a conduit to communicate with spirits of the other world. But for some people, it just comes naturally. My daughter, my youngest daughter, I do believe is a medium. I think that she sees people who've passed on, particularly people who are close to her. I know for a fact when her friend Caleb took his life right before Christmas, she saw him for a good six months afterwards, physically, like in the middle of the daytime, like she would see him and spoke with him. So I know that she, she, she cannot sleep without having the TV on or the lights on or someone or something with her. So she often takes the dog with her to her bedroom and she keeps the TV on all night. And I do believe that that's because she is being contacted. What I have found is that when spirits know you can see them and communicate with them, you become a magnet. They want to communicate because there are many who are looking to finish up business they had here that they didn't finish or to get messages to people that they loved or I think a lot are just confused and don't even realize they're dead they're kind of not understanding what's going on um, or how to move forward or how to move on and I think a lot of them are afraid to cross over because they may not have been what they consider perfect here in this world and so they're afraid to move on but they're looking for help of some sort to adjust to the change in going from the physical third dimension to the all spiritual fifth dimension and beyond so i think that that has a lot to do with it i don't really have a lot to offer in terms of mediumship experiences i can share a few stories from when i was a child but like i said i spent years learning to close it out so now that i'm learning to open myself up to it it's more um, i've always been able to tell when something is present i can feel it i would hear things but i wouldn't necessarily see things sometimes i do actually see the spirits uh, one of the best examples of that recently that I can give you was that I had gone to a shop in Fort Worth, a metaphysical shop with Lady Grave Dancer and Black Bex, and we went to a little cafe that's across the street for lunch afterwards, and Bex and T were sitting here, and I was sitting across from them, and I kind of had my back to the guy, but I'm kind of looking around, and there's this older gentleman who is sitting at a table by himself, and someone's sitting across from him. And the thing that struck me about it, and how I knew that the person sitting across from the old man was not living, was, one, there's something about them. I can always tell when it's, although they look to me like solid, I don't see, like, see-through people. To me, they look solid. But he was sitting, and he was looking at the old man, but they were not talking. And he was not eating, but the old man was. And Bex and T look up, and, and Bex says, do you think the old man sees him? And I turned around and looked, and about that moment, the old man looked up, saw the person sitting across from him, smiled, and went back to eating. And we both, you know, all three of us looked at each other and said, yeah, he sees him. So, you know, that was one of the best things that I could tell you. Um, 
I did make eye contact with this spirit. Um, he smiled at me, smiled back, just kind of let it go. Um, but that was one of the most recent and most fresh experiences I've had. I have not had a lot of other experiences like that in the ensuing years because I spent time blocking it out. When I told my mother what I was experiencing, she kind of made me feel like I was crazy. Um, or she would say, what are you, a witch? You know, when I was a kid, that was kind of a bad thing. So I was like, eh, and now I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, so um, it's one of those things that it's not something I openly practice. It's not something that I go out and, and utilize my skills. Um, Bailey, say hi, Pinto. This is Pinto Bean. Um, but uh, I do believe that everybody has that ability within them if they wanted to cultivate it. I think a lot of people are uncomfortable communicating directly with, with the spirits that are earthbound like that. But at the same time, you know, if, if you can and you can bring peace to others, why not do it? I apologize for this video being kind of short, kind of late in the upload, but... I really don't practice this openly like I should, so I think you'll get more from Jen's video tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.